Well, hi, this is Ken with Village Green, giving you your latest landscape update. I happened to be looking at the, the trees near our shop, and I noticed that the, the city has recently trimmed trees here. And I, I wanted to show you some examples of, of good tree trimming practices and, and at least one not so good trimming. Uh, I get this question periodically, how, how should I be, be thinning my trees? The, uh, what you want to do is when you are cutting a tree limb, ideally you're looking for a collar. And you can see here on this, on this larger limb, this has a little bit of a collar right here. And you'll see that on the, on the other limbs as well. And ideally, you, you cut just above that collar because that allows the, the you can see up here, that allows the, the wound to heal better and more quickly. And they've done a, a pretty good job of trimming. Some of these limbs, you can see, are, are a little too flushed because they're right up against the, the edge or the, of, of the bark. Uh, that, that's a little too close to it. There, what they did, what they've done is to actually cut cut through the collar of it, and it does slow down the, the process of the healing. And then this one is exactly what you don't want to do. If you can see the, the stub that's been created, it's got about an inch long stub. You don't want that because that, that encourages insects to be able to get inside, and it doesn't heal very well. The other thing that you'll notice is that they did not paint these which is just fine. Uh, that's, that's really an unnecessary step for the most part on, on thinning or when, you're, when you're thinning a tree. So that's just a, a couple of tips for you on tree trimming 101. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and send them on to your friends and family. Ken with Village Green, local experience you can trust.